Tonight, a top Republican strategist warning RFK Jr. could swing the 2024 election to Joe Biden. Karl Rove writing in a Wall Street Journal op-ed that Kennedy's, quote, outlandish claims and moonbat ideas will, quote, prime more than a few wackos off Mr. Trump, perhaps enough to hand the election to Mr. Biden. Well, this comes as major differences are emerging between Kennedy and his running mate, Nicole Shanahan. Eva McKend is out front. The next vice president of the United States, Nicole Shanahan. Nicole Shanahan is not a familiar name in national politics. We've got this. And before choosing her as his running mate, independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. didn't appear to know her either. As recently as a year ago, I really didn't think much of Bobby Kennedy because I didn't know much about him. Still. I'm confident that there is no American more qualified than Nicole Shanahan to play this role. Now, after a series of interviews meant to introduce the Silicon Valley lawyer to voters, some key compatibility questions have been raised as well, such as, are Shanahan and Kennedy aligned on abortion? I wouldn't leave it to the states. Wouldn't, right. No, I would. I, he would I, say completely, it's up to know, the woman. My belief is we should leave it to the woman. But in an interview with the Sage Steel Show podcast this month, Shanahan seemed unclear about where the top of the ticket stands. Um, my understanding is that he absolutely believes in limits on on abortion. Kennedy supports abortion limits up to fetal viability, which experts say occur between 23 to 24 weeks. Shanahan has shown support for federally restricting abortion between 15 and 18 weeks. And where does the duo stand on Israel's war with Hamas? Kennedy has been unflinching in backing Israel. I would continue aid. Israel's fighting a defensive war and it's not a war of choice. While Shanahan has been more critical. But you know, starting a war with Hamas right now is not just starting a war with Hamas. It is, it is engaging in something in the Middle East that was not very well planned. Both Republicans and Democrats have pounced on the relatively unknown independent, saying the wealthy California native was only picked for her pocketbook. She's more liberal than Junior by far, not a serious person, and only a pot of cash to help her get her no chance candidate on the ballot. The New York Times reports Shanahan received around $1 billion after recently divorcing Google co-founder Sergey Brin. The threat of a third party effort with deep pockets has prompted Democrats to target Kennedy's campaign over concerns he could hurt Biden's reelection chances. It's more looking like she's more like a checkbook in this situation because she is she was only involved really when he needed to get on the ballot. In April, the Kennedy campaign raised more than $10 million, but some 8 million of that haul came directly from Shanahan as the pair seeks to forge a path together on the campaign trail. And Aaron, the campaign acknowledging Kennedy and Shanahan do in fact differ on abortion, but telling me in a statement in part, both are aligned with the emerging national consensus of no restrictions up till a certain point and restrictions thereafter. Meanwhile, Kennedy continues to have a strong showing in the polls for a third party candidate. In the latest Marquette poll, Kennedy getting 17 percent behind Trump's 40 percent and Biden's 37 percent. Aaron. All right, Eva, thank you very much. So let's go beyond the numbers with Harry Enton. So Harry, look, this is this is crucial, this whole conversation. Mm. RFK Jr. is going to speak at the Libertarian Convention tomorrow. Trump is also speaking at the Libertarian Convention, uh, both going after uh, those votes, obviously. How does RFK Jr. do with people who maybe last time around didn't find a candidate? Yeah, those who are disenchanted with the two major parties, right? Those who didn't vote for Biden or Trump or didn't actually even cast a ballot back in 2020. Look at who those folks are supporting right now, which you essentially has a, have as a two-person race with RFK Jr. at 37 percent and Donald Trump at 30 percent, Joe Biden way back at 12 percent. And I think this gives you an indication of why both of them are going to that libertarian convention. They both believe that they can appeal wow. to third parties, those folks who support third parties and essentially say those people who are disenchanted with the system, RFK wants to be their guy, but Donald Trump also wants to be their guy. It's very interesting. 37% of the people who sat out last time. Okay, so Karl Rove, I shared part of that op-ed. He says RFK Jr. is going to take more votes from Trump. 
Obviously, we've heard that. I've heard this argued every which way to Sunday. What do the numbers tell you? Yeah, at this particular point, it does look like RFK Jr. is going to take more votes away from Trump than Joe Biden. But it's not a landslide, Aaron. I think that's the important thing here. If you look at the latest Quinnipiac University poll, what you see is that the folks who support RFK Jr. in the three women three-way, when you squeeze it down to a two-way, you see that Donald Trump wins 51% of them. Joe Biden wins 37%. Now, again, that's not a landslide, but it's something that could matter in a tight election, yeah. right? It's the type of thing that could make the difference if RFK Jr. is, in fact, stays in the race and continues to poll those high percentages that Eva was talking about. That's right, especially in states that had, what, 10,000 vote margins. Exactly. Arizona and Georgia, we're looking at you. Nicole Shanahan, uh, Eva was going through some of the policy differences there. Uh, she is one of his only donors, actually, not just a huge one, but maybe one of the only. Yeah, you know, if we look at the campaign committee, you know, if we look what percentage of the donors last month of the money that came in came from her, we're talking about north of 70%. You see that 74%. But if you look at the American Values 2024 Super PAC, Timothy Mellon, who's a billionaire who also donates to a lot of tr pro-Trump causes, 81% of the money came from him. So the fact is most of the money for, for Kennedy is coming from two people. That's really fascinating on, on so many levels, He's, political donations. He claims yeah. to be a small money guy speaking for the small people, but in fact, it's for the large donors that are for him. All right. Harry, thank you thank very you. much.